Hello, this is Vibrelocity here with another video. This time I'm going to be covering some basics in Record Box for you aspiring DJs out there. So the first thing I wanted to do is just cover importing a playlist from the very beginning. So I have Record Box open. I'm going to come over here to the left menu. And underneath collection, there's an expandable list called playlists. As you can see, I have many of them. To add a playlist, you just click this little plus sign. And for purposes here, I'm just going to call this practice. And then I'm going to open up my USB, which I have uh, just some files here of tracks I've downloaded recently. When you pull them into Rekordbox, it's going to ask you a couple things for the analysis. First of all, the BPM range, which it's pretty much up to you what you're going to do here. Um, it depends on how you like to put your tracks together. Um, it also depends for me. You know, it depends on what kind of playlist I'm putting together. I'm going high energy, low energy. Sometimes I have a combination of both, so I'll record. I'll analyze some tracks at a lower BPM and some at a higher BPM. It's totally personal. For this purpose, we're just going to record here. I think these songs are all house tracks, so they're going to be in the 120 range. I also include key. I go by key on the musical scale, not using mixed in key. Um, this won't show you the mixed in key. You'll have to do that as a separate analysis, which I might cover that in a separate video. And then phrasing, which I'm not sure I trust record boxes phrasing, to be honest. That's something you can decide on your own. Then you hit OK. It takes just a little bit for these to load up. It's, an it's analyzing them and then giving you the waveform. So I'm just going to fill time while it's, t while it's doing that on its own. Um, it doesn't take too long for this many files, you know, only nine tracks. For bigger playlists, obviously, you want to allow more time. So we're just about done here. One thing I like to do right from the very beginning is to load up the tracks and make sure that the um, analysis of the beat grid is correct. Move. So I'm going to do it again. You can see here that this red little indicator here is the first beat of the measure and that's what we want we want the red to be aligned with the first beat of the measure most music is for djing is in a four four count meaning between reds there's four counts counting the first one so one two three four that's four kick drums four beats and that's what gives you the bpm if you count that over a minute beats per minute you have for this song it would be 128 kick drums in a minute. So a little bit of music theory there for you. Um, anyway, so we set that and then I always come here to do a memory save because what that does is it shows me on whatever equipment I'm using when I DJ, it shows me that is the first part of the song where I want to load it in. Now, again, this is totally up to you. You may think that, um, you know, you want to start at this part of the song here. You can totally set a cue point there, which you know, you click here to set the cue point, and then you can put memory as well. So it's up to you, however you want to do that. So once I do that for all of the songs, I'm not going to actually show you doing that, but um, once you do that for all of your songs, then you probably want to arrange them in a specific way. Now, a lot of people will do it by BPM, which you can just click this column here, and it'll put them in ascending order. You can put it in descending order if you want. You can go back to the original function by clicking that one more time. You can arrange by key, pretty much anything you want. Um, once it's arranged by BPM, let's say you want it, you want most of them to be in this order, but some of them are not in the exact order you want. So just click a track and then you're gonna come up here to playlist and renumber track order. Now they're saved in this order. This is how any equipment like a CDJ is going to read it is the order number. So it doesn't matter how you have it organized. It goes by the track number. So once it's 
numbered in this way, then to rearrange them, you just click the pound, this hashtag, or you know, in this case, it stands for number. You click that, and then you can drag, let's say you want this one to be after this song, you just drag it there. Maybe you want this one to be up here. Maybe you want this one to be here. Whatever you want, you can now rearrange them and it automatically renumbers them so that when you go to your export, it saves it in this exact order. So it's really helpful. Um, if you have a playlist and it's in the order you want it and you drag it into Rekordbox and it's totally out of order, there's not a lot of solutions besides just manually doing it yourself, which can be cumbersome, but that's all that Rekordbox offers. A quick tip as well, I always like to have file here as one of the columns, right click here on the column, and you can select file type. And what that does is it shows you what it is because generally Rekordbox will only read WAV or MP3 um, when you're playing on equipment like CDJs. Sometimes it'll read AIFF or FLAC files, but it's I've noticed it's hit or miss. So you kind of want to, you know, play it safe, I would say. And then bitrate. If you're using waves, some waves come in a, I believe it's 2600 kilobytes per second. You want to convert it to 1411, which you can do that in iTunes. You won't lose any information by converting it that way. At least noticeable information. Some audio files may disagree with me. Anyway, once you have it all where you want it, organized just to, to get it onto your flash drive in a usable form for your record box associated equipment you hit the sync manager and you'll want to select whatever playlist you want to sync up to your device you want to make sure you select the correct device if you have more than one in your drive and then you know select whatever playlist you want it click this button here to, and it'll sync it up. You can close. I'm going to cancel this time. And what that will do is put it on your flash drive in a where your CDJ or whatever device you're using will be able to read the waveform, have the tracks in this order, see the key, see the BPM, and all of that good stuff. I hope that was helpful. Please leave a comment if you like. Hit subscribe suggest a video or you know provide tips that you have thank you so much for watching see you soon